Tori Mason covering Colorado first. And let's get things over to First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave Aguilera with a look at your forecast. Dave, another beautiful day as we welcomed in spring in its entirety today. Yeah, we had the, the first full day, if you will. Spring arrived last night officially, but 62 degrees out there right now. Can't beat it. We've got sunshine all over the city as we look at uh, Green Mountain. Still some snow there, but you can see it's starting to melt out there, and we're going into a really good melting mode from now all the way through Saturday before we start to change things up. There are a few clouds that are building in. We've had those down around uh, Cass Rock, Kiowa here, and out in the foothills here, but nothing really heavy duty. Uh, there are some areas that are picking up some sprinkles down to the south and some of the mountains from Central Mountains down in the San Gabriel Cristos. And earlier, we had a couple of thunderstorms down here right around the Four Corners and the San Juan Mountains with a few sprinkles of rain down that way as well with the moisture that we have this afternoon. A couple of things working on our weather. Now, we had a, a very weak, weak cold front just kind of nudge back into North northeastern Colorado. That kept us in the 50s and 60s from Denver out to the northeastern plains rather than the 60s and 70s like we had yesterday. That'll pull out uh, though overnight tonight into tomorrow. Down south we still have remnants of that cutoff low that it's been spinning down there but uh, during the course of the last three days it has moved from southern Cal across Arizona. Now it's in New Mexico here. So slowly but surely that thing's kind of just breaking up and moving on out of here and tomorrow will really kick out as a slow moving ridge moves in over Colorado here. Behind that, though, there's a cold trough that's getting ready to blow through here, and that will happen Sunday on into Monday. Initially, we should have rain on Sunday and then a chance of snow coming up on Monday as this whole thing moves on through here. And in the mountains, could be some significant snow by the start of next week. As we go through tonight, the clouds will move out. will be mostly clear statewide tomorrow. Very nice start to the day. Late in the day tomorrow, this is a map at 6 o'clock. We're still cleared partly cloudy here in the east, but we get a little more moisture riding that high pressure ridge here in the northern mountains. So tomorrow night we could get just a light dusting of snow in our northern and central mountains here. But that's at 1130 right before midnight tomorrow night. And then by the time we get into Friday morning, boom, it's out of here. We're mostly sunny and just a couple of afternoon clouds here and there on Friday to finish out the week. So should be pretty nice uh, end to our week going on. Randy Bursk in Ridgeway. That's in southwestern Colorado. He has 53 at his house and Larry Geoke in Brush, which is in northeastern Colorado. He's got 58 right now. His temperatures will be probably just below freezing up in that area for overnight lows tonight. Will be teens and 20s in the mountains, 30s at the lower elevations, and then highs tomorrow. Out west, if you're out in that part of our state, 60s out there, and 50s and 40s in the mountains will be in the 60s primarily here on the eastern plains, but places like Sterling, La Janta, Lamar, Pueblo, low 70s is what they're looking at tomorrow. A little closer to home here, pick out your neighborhood if you're in Jefferson County, 64 in Ken Carroll and Morrison and Green Mountain, Genesee should be right around 53 degrees out there in Jeffco. I think out at the airport will be about 66. We hold the 60s through Saturday with a few more clouds arriving by then. Then by Sunday, chance of rain and cooling it down to 54. Sunday night into Monday, a chance of snow. First alert weather day as possible on Monday with 39 degrees for that day and then we break out of it after that. Right now it looks like on the high end we have a chance of maybe three to six inches of snow around the Denver metro area but with that many days still to go through that could change for us but just a heads up Monday will be the weather changer for us. All right if you just stand in front of Monday Dave everything looks great. <laughs> Do that? Yeah Monday and Tuesday. Yeah there you go it looks fabulous the seven day forecast. On both sides, right? Love it. All right Dave thanks. Still